so basically what happened as we are using a petrol the petrol is used as a fuel inside the car and what is a petrol petrol is a hydrocarbon means it contain hydrogen and carbon so whenever we burn petrol the hydrocarbon is burned a complete combustion of a hydrocarbon in the presence of oxygen what it produce it produce carbon dioxide and it produce water vapors this is what is produced and that carbon dioxide and water vapor are released from the exhaust pipe but what is a drawback here like what is the harmful effect when we when a car engine is burning a petrol sometime the combustion is not complete sometime you have seen like some of the cars are giving a black smoke this is not happen most commonly but some of the cars which are very old their engine efficiency has reduced so they give a black smoke what is the reason why the black smoke is coming out from the car because that is producing a carbon and water or it might produce carbon monoxide and water so this producing a black smoke means carbon or carbon monoxide so they are harmful for the atmosphere for the environment this is one thing another thing what happened because inside the car engine the car it take air and from the air it take oxygen so air enter because for burning we need, the car need oxygen so from where it is taking the oxygen it is taking the oxygen from air so when the air enter the car engine the air contain nitrogen and oxygen so due to the high temperature inside the engine the nitrogen and oxygen react with each other as a result they form oxides of nitrogen such as nitrogen monoxide or nitrogen dioxide so this nitrogen monoxide or nitrogen dioxide because these are acidic oxide so it can cause an acid rain or it can be a photochemical smog whereas oxides of when carbon uh, petrol is burned in the presence of oxygen and it is a limited supply of oxygen so carbon monoxide is there and that can cause suffocation or a breathing problem so these are the harmful gases they are harmful for the environment as for the humans so how we can overcome this how we can reduce the emission of a carbon monoxide and oxide of nitrogen so inside inside the car there is a catalytical converter so what it will do this catalytical converter it take oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide they react like they are entering when they enter as a result what it will do it will convert this into nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide so which make it less harmful which make it less harmful as compared to the carbon monoxide and oxide of a nitrogen which are more harmful so inside the catalytical converter these oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide combine and as a result when they combine they give a less harmful gas which is nitrogen and carbon dioxide so this is how the catalytical converter works or car catalytical converter works so oxides of nitrogen are formed from the heat and the pressure which is there inside the engine the catalytical converter are used to remove the oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide how carbon monoxide plus oxides of nitrogen give nitrogen and carbon dioxide and nitrogen and carbon dioxide are relatively less harmful gases compared to carbon monoxide and carbon or nitrogen monoxides is it clear that how we can use a catalytical converter to reduce the emission of oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide as well as how they are produced inside the car engine so this is a summary of the air pollutant like carbon dioxide what is the source of a carbon dioxide burning of a fossil fuel when we burn fossil fuel like we are burning coal oil 
uh, petrol, we are burning any kind of fossil fuel, it produces carbon dioxide. It can cause a global warming. And how we can stop like this or how we can solve the problem? We should stop deforestation, like we should stop cutting the trees because if we are cutting the, because the trees can absorb or take in carbon dioxide and undergo a photosynthesis. But if we are cutting the trees or deforestation is there, then it will not, if it will continuously increase the amount of carbon dioxide. So we should stop deforestation or we should uh, use more renewable or greener fuels such as like using a solar energy, using the wind power or wind energy instead of the fuel which is emitting out carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide, it is produced by incomplete combustion or limited supply of air. Carbon monoxide, is it is a toxic or a harmful gas and we can use a catalytical converter like oxide, carbon monoxide mixed with oxide of nitrogen, it turned into carbon dioxide. Oxides of nitrogen such as nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide, it is produced by burning nitrogen inside the car engine and it is also produced by forest fire lightning whenever like example during a thunderstorm when you see a lightning or a flash that also produce oxides of nitrogen because uh, due to this lightning or a flash the, uh, the voltage or energy is too high that cause a nitrogen to react with oxygen. This can cause an acid rain or it's a toxic gas and we, we can use or we can neutralize by base oxide or calcium oxide oxide. So because nitrogen monoxide is acidic oxide, so we can react with basic oxide or calcium oxide. Sulfur dioxide, it is produced by factories and burning the fossil fuel, it can cause an acid rain, it can destroy the marine life, plants, crops, as well as the stonework. So we can also neutralize this by calcium oxide. Freon gas, what is a freon gas? This gas is used as a coolant, it is used in refrigerator, in air condition. This, there's a gas inside the refrigerator or air condition that is uh, chlorofluorocarbons are also known as freon. This can, what is the effect of the freon? It can destroy the ozone. So the ozone layer, the upper atmosphere, there's a layer of ozone which protect us from harmful UV radiations or ultraviolet radiations. And that freon, if it is released, that can destroy this ozone. So we should use alternative to freon, like we should use other gases, which are not harmful like hydrochlorofluorocarbons uh, instead of CFCs or HCFCs should be used. The lead compound, lead is normally add, added to a petrol. It can damage a brain. Like if you inhale uh, vapors which are containing a lead, then it can affect your nervous system or damage the brain. So we should not add lead to the, or lead compounds to the petrol. Methane is there. The decomposition or vegetation means like when organic maize waste, like uh, when plants decay or organic material decay, they give out methane. And methane can also cause a global warming. Still, we are not able to solve the problem how to overcome this emission of methane. So these are, this is like the whole summary of the sources which can uh, cause air pollution as well as what are the effects and how we can overcome this.